Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I am going to be writing in my quotes journal. I thought it would be a good opportunity to write down some of my favorite fall quotes. This is an onion skin journal from the Onion Skin Journal Company, and I've really enjoyed it so far. The paper is an absolute delight to write on. You get that lovely crinkle, and it can bleed through. This was an enormous amount of ink that I used for this page. It did bleed through. I forgot to stick a piece of paper behind it, but I'll just work with it. Um, see if I can't cover up that red or use it to my advantage. So I don't write in my quotes journal as often as I should. I think I get a little uh, preoccupied with trying to make something look pretty and then I procrastinate. So today I'm just going to write and I'm not going to worry about it looking pretty. However, my fountain pen is quite pretty, at least I think. This is a Banu Euphoria Vodka on the Rocks. I purchased this a few months ago. Uh, it was before Banu had to move out of Russia, so I've had this pen for a while and have really enjoyed it. And I have Noodler's Kiowa Pecan in it, or it, I believe now it is called Just Pecan, so... I will be using that for my quotes. And actually, my favorite quotes about fall typically pertain to fall as spring. So I really, I'm of that mindset where fall really feels like a spring to me. So I'm going to start with F. Scott Fitzgerald's Life Starts All Over Again When It Gets Crisp in the Fall. That's from The Great Gatsby, and I really like that quote. I love the way this color looks on this onion skin paper. That is so pretty. No bleed through, ghosting, but of course you're going to get that with lovely crisp thin paper like this. I think I'll continue with the same color ink. So we have life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. Let's go with autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower, Albert Camus. And last but not least, I will do, let's see, April's have never meant much to me. Autumn seemed that season of beginning, spring. And that is Truman Capote from Breakfast at Tiffany's.
well, if I get the quote right, Autumns. this ink looks. As far as decorating goes, uh, see if I can come up with something. I'm going to start by saturating the corners, I think, with some ink and seeing how I like that. I have Diamine's Dark Forest. This is from their Celebration 150 Years Anniversary line. You get the cute little wedge bottle of ink. Create a little triangle in the corner. Oops. <laughs> I will be trying angling the whole corner now. Uh, all right. Try a little bit up here. Now I've got it kind of far up. So I like this. It's really pretty. Ink has a nice vintage look to it. Hmm. All right. Now I need to think of what to do next. Can see the way the color hits that onion skin paper. It's really neat looking. I think I'm going to keep painting with the green ink. I'm just going to take one of these q-tips and pull cotton off the end. I go back to the green ink. I'm just going to highlight a few spots and see what I think.
Okay, well, apparently I cannot draw leaves. I feel like that's something that most kindergartners can do, so I feel like I'm failing at this point. <laughs> My art class skills are, are zilch. <laughs> Think a minute. Okay, it's gonna. Mm. I'm going to try to find a way to make it worse. I think that <laughs> that will be helpful. <laughs> oh, this leaf. Hmm. I better leave it. All right, so I grabbed the Kiawa pecan. I'm gonna add some of that. Maybe it'll help tie some of the color together. Maybe not. I don't know what to do with that leaf. I mean, hmm. Maybe it's just a really freakish looking Christmas tree. It's actually starting to look more like a leaf. I mean, it looks weird, but more like a leaf than it did. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna come back to the green. Go with a basic leaf. Maybe I can handle that. <laughs> okay. It's just making it worse. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. It's not terrible. I actually think the colors are gorgeous together. Beautiful color combination for sure. I'll just need to practice drawing some leaves. <laughs> I 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I would love to know what your favorite fall quote is. If you have one, please type it in the comments section below.